What is up guys? Welcome to part two of the Sabine River Baits to Throw video. Now this is the summertime baits for the Sabine River, Natchez River, Cow Bayou, Adams Bayou, Taylors, Hildebrandt. All these rivers pretty much set up the same. They've got similar cover and what you see right here will catch you a lot of fish and all of these have done pretty dang good. So if you're new to my channel, this is your first time here, I invite you to hit the subscribe button turn on the bell because I've got a lot of videos that you're about to see that's just like this that'll help you catch a lot of fish. Let's get on into the video and I'm going to show you what works on the Sabine River system during the summer. All right, to start this video, we're gonna go with the top water baits first. So on the Sabine River system, you need to be throwing some type of white three blade buzz bait. Both of these are made by Strike King. This is a quarter ounce size. This is a eighth ounce size. I've caught a pile of good fish on both and it just kind of varies day to day which one they want over the other one. But these work dang good around cypress knees, lay down trees, and sometimes on the pad's edge. Speaking of lily pads, the next thing I do out there is I do throw frogs all along the pads and cypress trees. So if the water's kind of muddy, go with something that's white, yellow. If it's real dark, real clear, like on a low tide situation, get you something that's natural, green, black, green pumpkin. That's the what you want to stay in. And also speaking of frogs, I do throw a tiny rivers to sea out there sometimes. And uh, I don't know why this one works, it just does out there, but this one does good like in areas that are just isolated lily pad sections, just throw this in the middle of them, try to find the little gaps, this will get you some bites. Moving on to Texas rig, so there's really four different or five different types of baits I Texas rig out there. I do throw a straight worm a lot on the main river itself like in log jams. I'll Texas rig and excite plum worm, I put usually an eighth ounce to a quarter ounce weight on there, but that's the worm I throw right there. The next two things I Texas rig, depending on the water clarity, I'll either throw some type of Zoom Baby Brush Hog if the water's clear, Watermelon Gold, Watermelon Magic, doesn't really matter, but if that the water's that black looking color, go with something more natural. This is the Excite brand, but both of these catch a lot of good fish. And the last thing I kind of like to Texas rig out there, I can't remember the name of these, but I've got a pile of them for the Sabine River, so I think they call it a Z-Hog. Let me make sure I'm telling you all right. Yeah, Z-Hog Junior, but basically it's kind of like the Sweet Beaver style. It's just like a little compact bait, but rig it Texas rig, flip this along the cypress trees, log jams, lay down trees. Another thing, well, we're gonna come back to this last Texas rig in a minute, but another thing you need to be doing on the Sabine River system, definitely throwing some type of Senko along the cypress trees. A lot of brim are up there in the summertime, so the Cinco will get you bit when nothing else typically does. Here we go. This is one of my other favorite things I like to do in the summer. So I do throw a jig on the Sabine River in the summer. A lot of people think a jig's more of a wintertime bait, but this will catch you a lot. Now these are the two trailers I pretty much use exclusively out there, but it's the color that matters. So black and blue, I go with something like this, Twin Tail Grub or the Excite Blue Crawfish. And also, I will throw a Strike King Rage Tail on the back of that jig too. And this is the other bait I Texas rig out there. There's something about small, compact baits out there that those Sabine River System bass really like. Another thing, if you can catch a cloudy day and you feel like the bass are eating a spinnerbait, now they don't always eat a spinnerbait in the summer, but these are my best two right here. Just two small, compact spinnerbaits, white and chartreuse color, gold blades, silver blades. But uh, I don't know if it matters that much. If they're not biting one, I'll tie on the other and try it. Now, two more things I do. I forgot about these. So I throw the original Pop R bait. Now, in the previous video, you heard me mention a KVD Splash. Well, these have kind of a deeper plop to them. If you, th if you know, throw a Pop R, you know exactly what I'm talking about. These have that deeper sound. They seem to get bit a little bit better in the river itself. So the last thing, I do in the Sabine River itself, I throw really uh, three styles of crankbaits. So I'll throw a 1.5 in kind of like the bayous areas where there's a lot of hardwood because this 1.5 will deflect off of it real good, just throw it in a shag color. When I'm in the deeper areas and I really want to dig the bottom, a 3XD or a Bandit, uh, this is the 300 series, this is a real old one, but this guy is definitely deadly on the Sabine River system. Just a white color, shag color. 
The last thing I do, now not many people are gonna talk about this, is I throw a deeper diving crate. This is a Series 5, but a 5X deal worked really good. Now where this is gonna come into play is like on the main rivers where you have like a marsh that dumps into the main river. Throw this guy, dredge the bottom, and sometimes you will catch some three and four pound fish by doing this right here. But guys, that's all I do on the Sabine River system. Like I said, I, this video is gonna cover the Sabine River itself, Cal Bayou, Taylor's Bayou, Adams, Hildebrandt. They all fish the same pretty much in the summer. They all have similar cover, but hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. Get out there, keep God first in your life. We'll see you on the water.